Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I can't turn the volume up, Rosie, because I'm. A, if I touch it, it's going to fall. Good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show, where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only Live Past Crazy Specialist, so what better place to be than here with me? Um, thank you guys for patiently waiting my technology. Well, it wasn't my technology this morning. It was actually the thing that told you guys that didn't want to do right. Good morning. Hey, good morning, y'all. How you doing? How you doing? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. I hear you loud and clear, boo. Okay, yep. good. Good, good. Because I, I couldn't tell if you guys could hear me with these headphones or not. Yeah, uh, we hear you just fine. All right, all right. Well, y'all, good morning. Welcome to the Phyllis Morning Show. Good yeah, I, see, I see you guys are doing good in Let the neighborhood. Let me tell you, I've done so much driving this weekend. Thank you guys for all the prayers for my uncle, the funeral. You know, we had a lovely service for him, so thank you. Um, it was hard. I, I got up to speak. You know, they asked you to have remarks, and so I got up to speak uh, for the family. Good morning. Yeah. And, you know, it's hard to speak at a funeral. And you don't, let me tell you, that's one of the hardest things. And I thought I was going to make it, but I, I held the snot right till I got to my seat anyway. Because <laughs> I was crying. You know how you get to that ugly cry? Yeah. But I held on. So thank you guys for all the prayers. I, I appreciate it. So, oh, uh, you I'm are exhausted. I'm, I'm good and exhausted. Yeah, well, that it'll do that to you. But the good thing is, you bounce back and you keep it moving, right? Yes, Lord. <laughs> you bounce back and you keep it moving. So that um, good morning, y'all. The fearless morning quote. I'm just paying attention to where I'm going. I'm trying to, so I'm trying to do two things at once: do the morning show and be on my health kick, trying to kill oh, a couple man, of birds. That's what with you, man. With one I stone. I'm scared to walk, though, in this area. I was going to say, maybe we should both do it together. I'll be on walking on my end, you walking on your end, but my yeah. end kind of scary in these parts. These, these kids be coming through here killing themselves on two wheels. <laughs> but you can get on the sidewalk. The school has sidewalks. No, right? they don't. Oh, shoot. What what kind of school is it's that? It's only half. They're doing construction. So, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. She was like, right. what? Okay, go ahead and get started. Let's get started with the All right, y'all. I quote this morning. It actually comes from Dalai Lama. Um, I'm just kind of rephrasing the quote because I don't have <laughs> it in front of me. Um, but happiness is not something that's given to you. It's something that you own. It's something that you do. And that's by the Dalai Lama. And the reason I thought that was timely... It's because, y'all, you know, deal with me. I'm dealing with these hills of Georgia. It's all going very near mountains to me. But anywho, let them tell it from the Midwest. they like, that's definitely a hill. But anyway, um, y'all, our topic today, our financial confession and conversation, is praying and hoping, hoping and praying alone won't do it. Right? Praying and hoping, hoping and praying alone won't do it. And don't get me wrong, y'all. I am the first one to tell you to go and pray about a situation. Yes. Right? I am the first one because that's the way I was raised. You go and you pray about that situation. Absolutely. You must have a relationship with the most high. Absolutely. But then you have to understand, guys, that you have to do something. And it's very important that you understand that you also have to do something. And, and I, I just really quickly want to say this too. Every time there was a situation that happened in the Bible, there was always something that the person had to go do. 
The lady, in order to be healed, she had to touch the hem of the garment. She had to do something, right? Mm -hmm. The guy laying by the pool, he had to do something. He had to go get in. Mm -hmm. The guy couldn't see, and he had to. God said, "Go." Jesus said, "Go wash, right? Go wash mm -hmm. your eyes off." See, it was always an instruction for them to go and do something. And it's not to say that I don't believe in miracles. I absolutely do. And it's not to say that I don't believe that God can't do it because he can. And he absolutely will if he chooses to do so. But why would he create you in his image if he didn't want us to do something? And why do we know that faith without works is dead, right? So hoping and praying and praying and hoping alone is not going to get you out of that situation that you're in, you have to do something. And we used to sing this song all the time when I was a kid um, in church. Lord, you said, if I make one step, you will make two. Many of us, we're not even trying to make that one step. We just no, want we want Jesus to <laughs> carry us, honey. Carry right. me through, Lord. Exactly. And he will. He will carry you, but you got to do something. You got to have that relationship that lets you know that, okay, I am responsible. I must do something as well. Absolutely. Faith without works is dead. So you must do something. So when we look at this thing, y'all, praying and hoping about your finances, yeah, you pray about it, but you got to do something about it. And you're like, Lord, I wish I know I'm going to pray about this situation. Yep. All right, Kim, we on the same wavelength today. All right. That's a good one then. Praying about all of these different things. Praying, Lord, I need my light bill paid. I hear you. Oh, y'all, pray for me. My baby over here showing out. I need somebody to pray for me. I hear you, right? Oh, they acting up at work, y'all. Pray for me on my job. We say it all the time. But what are we now doing about it, right? You can sit there and pray about a situation, but until you do something nothing changes all right correct so when we talk about this thing from the perspective of our finances i want to give you some things that you can now do because you say and you you say lynn i want to invest i want to invest but these bills oh i want to invest but i don't make enough money oh i want to invest but I don't, you, you come up with all these excuses. Well, let me, let me help you out on something. And this is something that Gary V talked about on one of his broadcasts. He said, I'm tired of hearing people say that I don't have money to do something. He said, so go do this. You guys are familiar with Craigslist, right? <laughs> if you go to Craigslist, there is a free tab. That means that there are people on Craigslist who are giving away things for free you go pick up that free thing from that person then you go over to ebay or some other location and you sell that free thing get you some money to be able to do what it is that you want to do how badly do you want it right mm -hmm. how badly do you want it yes do something about it absolutely <laughs> oh yeah that's good that's good what's that carolina Doing that, the most yes. that's the one prayer. Prayer. That's the she's one the one that helped me get over my fear of water. Oh, okay, gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. So let me help y'all get over this. How do I figure out how to invest? I'm gonna give you five ways this morning to invest on the budget because you said, Well, Lynn, I'm on a budget. Oh, I don't have money to do that. Let me help you out, guys, because we are called to build generational wealth and we're called to leave an inheritance for our children's children. But many of us, we are all we leaving this debt and trying to get a GoFundMe to get some. Okay, let me move on from that. But yeah. anyway. <laughs> Five ways to invest on a budget. So if you have a pen, that's right. I'm blowing them up this morning. Shots fired. Right? But don't, <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. That's all I'm saying. Don't shoot the messenger. So what are the five ways you can invest in, on a budget? Certain things you can do. And I got to I gotta watch out because I see some bike riders this morning. First thing you can do, guys, is join an investment club. There are investment clubs. Good morning. There are investment clubs that exist in your area right investors they meet on a regular basis to talk about the different things that they want to invest in you can join those clubs 
what you can do too, guys, one of the things I'll say, there is some risk involved. So do your research. Absolutely do your research because these investment clubs are not required to report to the SEC, right? They're not required to do that. But it is an opportunity for you to get in there, get started, get around some like-minded people who are going to help you to push to your next. That's first. That's one idea. That's one way. If you don't like that way, keep on, stay on, stay on here. I got a couple more for you. All right. The second one, you can invest by taking your spare change and investing it in some of these apps that exist. We've been talking about these apps that exist for some time now. There are so many apps out there where you can go in, apps like Stash, Clink, Acorns, right? You can even get your baby started on Acorns. Or if your children are going to college, right? I saw some of the posts, first, back to, first day back to college, or first day of college post. Uh, even for those babies who are going to college, and you, you, the parents, you're giving your kids uh, money in their accounts for college, or even for your own accounts. Connect that account, that credit card, or that debit card to the acorns. It does what they call the roundup, okay? It rounds up the change on everything that they purchase. So if they purchase something for $5.50, it rounds it up to $6. That 50 cents goes into an account so they can start investing. See, it's the little things. It's to, taking that change and starting to do it. And then, and I say doing it for the kids. Some of us as adults need to do that because we haven't even started looking at anything. And why mm -hmm. is that? One of the statistics that I saw the other day, y'all, the percentage of Americans who are investing is going down wow While the market is going up at the highest that it has ever people are getting richer than they have ever been able to get utilizing the market but the percentage of people in america who are investing continues to be on the decline at one point it was close about 40 years ago it was closer to 70 percent of americans were investing do you not know that today it is down to roughly 52% of people are investing in the market? Only 52%. And there are some tremendous opportunities out there for us, but we continue to sleep on them because we get caught up in stuff-itis. Yeah, that, I kind of sort of made up another word. Stuff-itis. We know what that is. We, we, it's the inflammation of the stuff. We inflamed with all the stuff. We have all the stuff in our houses. You can't even hardly get through there because you have so much stuff. That's stuffitis. You go in your closet, you still have tags on there. That's stuffitis. You haven't even worn that stuff. Right? Why are you looking at me? I, I, you, man. Keep going. Because I've been selling my stuff. I've been cleaning out my closet and selling my stuff that I've not worn. Well, I will say this, though. A hit dog will holler. Your baby was looking at you for a reason. Because she know, honey. That's why. <laughs> what did I do as soon as I got home? I took pictures and I, every weekend I've dedicated to sell something out of my closet. Y'all awesome, gotta give sorry. me a minute to work up to my pocketbooks now. Cause, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, let's it's let okay. Lee carry on. She's on number three. Go it's ahead, Lynn. It's, it's the fearless morning show. We having true confessions and conversations over here. <laughs> and I'm with you. So uh, let me let me stop and backtrack for a second. I'm picking at you. I have a couple of things still with tags on them in my closet that I can stand to sell to. So I can. Look. I have Poshmark. <laughs> I do have Poshmark, the app, on my yeah. phone, so I can go ahead and get this, these pictures and get those items uploaded. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit guilty, too, a little bit, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I own that. <laughs> I own that. So, number three, y'all, the number three way that you can start investing on a budget is to do an online brokerage account. You don't have to go out here in the old school way and come into the office with $250,000 to sit down with a broker and start talking about what it is that you want to buy and sell. Technology has put it at your fingertips and there's no reason that the number of people who are investing should be on the decline as opposed to on the uptick because it's so much easier to do it today. We have so much information at our fingertips yet so few of us are even moving in that direction. 
-hmm. So you can do an online brokerage account, accounts such as Ally, E-Trade, Merrill, Fidelity, you name it. They are out there, TD Ameritrade. I can keep going, right? Just be aware of the cost when you're investing with those companies. They do have amounts of money that you have to have to get started with those accounts. And then they do charge you between $4.95, $6.95, and $9.95 a trade. Do your research so you know which one you're dealing with. But there are opportunities for you to get in there and get it done. The other thing, guys, number four, how do you invest on the budget? Do you need everything that you're currently doing in your household? And if you say, yeah, stop lying to yourself, you can reduce some of those expenses, right? Some of us have some expenses that we know we don't need. We know we don't need to still have those subscriptions coming to our house from the magazines and newspaper when everything is online. Why are you still doing that, right? You know you don't need to have that full bundle, that internet package, because you don't even watch TV that much. Why are you still doing that? Why are you going shopping? All the y'all, and I hate couponing. I do. Let me just be real. I hate couponing with every fiber of my being. It's just too much work, in my opinion. But then I started, I took a moment and I said, well, you know what? Let me clip a couple of these coupons and go in the store and see if it works. Y'all, guess what? It works. <laughs> <laughs> it works. I was able to save so much money just by doing a few little things differently. And I'm not saying pinching pennies is going to make you a millionaire. No, it's not. But it's going to help you get started. See, you got to take that first step. When you make the first step, he'll make two. Right? See, you got to start doing things differently. And not all of these things are not for everybody. Trust and believe. I hear you. That's why I'm giving you five. You pick and choose which one works for you. And if there are others that you think of that you want to add to the list, just send them, just add them on. Rosie, what you laughing at, boo? She laughing at me because I, I thought I turned the wish your wife was off <laughs> and I had them going fast. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Number five. Some of y'all sleeping on this one at work. Some of y'all are sleeping on the 401k match at your jobs. You're not taking advantage of it. There are opportunities your companies will match, right? The dollars that you're putting aside, three, four, some of them eight and 12%. And you're sleeping on the opportunities. Don't miss out on those opportunities to invest y'all. And those are easy things you can do. Those are easy things you can do to get started. And while you're doing these easy things to get started, the number one thing that you must be doing while you're going through this process, good morning, the number one thing you must do while you're going through this process, guys, is educate yourself. You have to know what's going on out here in these markets. Speaking of what's going on out here in the markets, did y'all see? There's another, y'all put Google on your watch list. For everybody that's following me, you have your watch list. Put Google on your watch list. They got a lawsuit out on them too now, y'all. When you go into Google and you tell them not to track you on your, on your smartphone, guess what? They're doing it. They're they doing been it tracking anyway. you anyway. So there's a lawsuit. There's a potential opportunity. There's an event that can possibly put Google on sale, depending upon how this lawsuit goes. So put them on your watch list. Do your research, right? Do your research, do your due diligence, get educated on the things that you need to be looking at that help you to determine what are the things that you can invest in. And if you're ready to start investing, y'all, I have an introductory investing course. Go to bit.ly, intro to investing. I got you. Get in there and get started. Get the basic information that you need so that you can move to your next. This course, it's a seven day course. It'll be delivered to your emails, guys. And you'll do each of those individual items that it's asking you to do. bit.ly slash intro to investing. Go over there and figure that thing out. So really quickly, let me recap the five ways that you invest on a budget, okay? The five ways to invest. First, you can think about an investment club, guys. Don't sleep on those investment clubs. They are everywhere. Do the research and find you one. 
all right? Find you an investment club, get around some like-minded people, and start listening to the conversation. Just participate in the conversation right now so you can see what they're thinking about, what they're talking about, what they're actually looking at before they, oh, y'all, it's getting ready. It's drizzling. I have to hurry up. Because if this starts full out raining, I'm going to have to hang up uh, <laughs> from this live and see y'all tomorrow. But, um... <laughs> Definitely. Are you gonna do that thing, Let's get it. Let's get Girl, it. I'm, 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 I'm doing all right at this pace. But if, if it does start raining, y'all gonna see a sister go. That's all. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number two. Don't forget, you can invest your spare change. There's so many apps. Go out there and check them out. Stash, Clinks, Acorns. Uh, you can look at Robin Hood. You can look at. There's a lot of them. There's. You take your pick. Go out there and start investing. There are no excuses. And no, these small peanuts are not going to do it for you. It's not going to do it for you. But it's definitely going to help you get started. You've got to take that, take that step. Yeah, you pray about it. But you got to do something about it. Right? You must do something about it. Don't forget about the online brokerage accounts. Don't forget about things like Ally, E-Trade, Merrill Edge, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, you name it, they're all there. Those are all different opportunities that you can now go back and revisit. Don't forget, y'all, you can reduce your expenses. We don't need all that stuff. Get rid of stuff items. Clear out your house. Get rid of that clutter. That's all I'm going to say about that. Number five. Take advantage of your 401k match. And when I forgot, y'all, this is a bonus. Bonus time, y'all. Bonus. Pay off that high interest credit card debt. That's the best investment you can make for yourself. And stop, stop reusing <laughs> it and spinning it back up. And then having to pay all that 20-something percent interest again. Don't you know that that interest is working in the favor of the bank? Don't you know that it only takes them at 24% interest? It only takes them three years to double their money off of you. Mm -hmm. Three years for them to double their money, but then the banks want to pay you 1% interest when you put your money in there, and it's going to take you 72 years to double your money. Y'all, we got to think differently. We got to start doing things differently. Get out there. Yes, pray about it. Hope. Yes, be hopeful pray about it but you got to do something about it too y'all go to bit.ly slash intro to invest in so you can get started there are no excuses no more excuses not after today because i'm lynn dim is america's number one financial rebound coach yeah i said it america's number one i'm getting you right in your health if you out here walking with me i'm getting you right in your wealth and your finances if you're listening and doing <laughs> yeah i said listen and do the things that I recommend to you, because I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm not going to steer you wrong. <laughs> Sound like a song. Not going to, okay, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, but y'all go over to bit.ly slash intro to investing so you can get started today. At least start on those five, dare I say those six things that I gave you that'll help you get started. Hope yep. and pray, yes, but you must also do. All right, guys. I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yes, I said it. America's number one. Yeah. You forgot to do you. You forgot well, to do you. I, well, I got a hold of a phone with my other arm, so <laughs> I can't do my little signature move at the end. But you got me. You got me. I got you, girl. Thank you. Uh, good morning, cousin Carol, Carol, Carl. Thank you, Carolina, my fiesta, for posting all five of Lynn's tips for this morning. You guys, please make sure you check it out. You've got to start somewhere. Remember yesterday, I talked about not judging yourself on where you start. Uh, and yeah. don't allow people to judge you on where you're starting because they're in a different space. You've got to start somewhere. Wait, and please, absolutely. reducing your uh and there's an app that will help you reduce your expenses because it takes a look at things that you don't use in your house i mean like your uh like your gym memberships and stuff like that and they'll reduce it down she said she bought that? her new house 
Go ahead, Kim. She, she stopped my girl by the house. She stopped me in my tracks. She only she did four of those five things, y'all, and she bought a house. Y'all better shut up and do some of this. That's all I'm saying. You better you best to get to work, y'all. <laughs> now, exactly. Get to work. Because you don't, you really don't. If you stop and think about it, when I was making less, I did more with less. And when I started making more money, I started adding. And then I was broke. I'm broker now. When I'm making more money than I was when I didn't have any money. And when I looked at that, y'all know my story, $7,000 to the Dollar Tree dollar menu mm -hmm. last year. Wonder why I didn't have any extra money. It was in the Dollar Tree and the dollar menu because, oh, it's just a dollar. Them, oh, just dollars took a kick. I mean, killed. And that yes. included like my, uh, your bounce check fees. Can you imagine how much money you're giving to the bank every paycheck because your account is in a negative because you're too scared giving to check your Giving it money? away. That's it. you giving it away. You're not giving it. Honey, just they, they, they working you hard. Just... They weren't even working hard for my check, Lynn. Every, every two yeah. weeks, I was giving them $200, giving them money. Let me tell you. Go ahead, cousin Carl. He said he's doing his five mile. I'm gonna I'm too scared to walk with Lynn. I, you know, I'm on I'm in a different <laughs> place than Lynn, but I'm in a high school parking lot and these students ain't no joke up in this piece. You hear me? They scare me. All right, guys. So let me get to the fearless thought for the uh today. So the fearless thought is your morning rituals. I know a lot of time I tell you that you can live past crazy. And you know, that's a one of the things I always say first is you got to be quiet. That's the first step is to be quiet and listen. But you got to, for me it was developing a morning morning ritual. And of course, one of those things is just to be grateful. You got to be grateful for absolutely everything, everything. that you have. And yep. once you start to develop, you can, I say mine. You all right, Lynn? Girl, I walked through a spider web. I about lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even, girl, I'm going to drop the phone. I don't even know why you still holding it. <laughs> Girl, I'm not let, me tell this, now. <laughs> let me tell y'all this story. At the funeral on Sunday, we at the graveside service. And you know, the lady has handed me a rose off the coffin and we're walking away. And I'm speaking to the owner of the funeral home. And Lynn, there's a spider this big around crawling <laughs> up his leg. And I had an umbrella. Oh. I beat oh, the no. devil out that man with that umbrella. <laughs> I tore his leg up with the umbrella. He said, what are oh. you doing? I said, the S spider is crawling up your Girl, I was, I had to think. And he was like, Miss Waddell, the spider is dead. It's good and dead. I said, I'm just trying to save your life, sir. I just wanted to save your life. I didn't want that spider to get <laughs> right? you. Right, just trying to save his life, and he ain't understand. My mama said, "Why was you hitting? Why was you hitting, Mister Ulysses?" I said, "That spider was trying to take him out, and he didn't even know it." I got your back, boo. <laughs> oh, it's good to have somebody in your corner, but I don't know if you had it in hitting at me like that. I'd be like, "Um, you gotta give me some explanation." Fresh. It was kind of selfish, honey, because had that spider <laughs> fell off him and got on me, honey, it would have been all over with. Please understand. Right. Right, it, girl. It was all over. All right. So let me go back. I, Lynn got me sidetracked. So you got to be, you got to be grateful. You got to start your morning off grateful, and you got to start it off peaceful. You cannot. Okay, you leaving? Love you. Give me a kiss. Be peaceful. Okay. Oh yeah, you got to. And that's my thought. Be peaceful. High five, Rosie. Good timing. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day at school. Goodbye. You got to start your day peace. Full. because if you don't have you ever woke up and when your crazy gets really bad you wake up with anxiety attacks like you wake up worrying instantaneously like mm -hmm. oh lord i ain't got no gas to get to work kids ain't got no <laughs> breakfast i ain't got and it's just on set crazy and you got to wake up peaceful now i have i have forced myself over the years to not have any of those thoughts first thing in the morning. I take a couple of deep breaths and I said, Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. And that once again, my family circle yeah. was not broken. And that's how I start my morning. You got to be grateful. 
And then I have my mantra. Y'all know I'm all about those sticky notes and putting quotes and stuff everywhere. And I know my mantras by heart. And by the time I get to the bathroom, I've said at least three of them. And that puts you in the right frame of mind. It helps to frame your day because your thoughts are powerful. What I right. always tell you, what you're living today is the result of your thoughts from last week, last month, last year. They're a result of every decision you've made or not made up until mm -hmm. this point. So let's just be, let's be mindful of how we set our mornings and develop your morning ritual that helps calm you. Because think about this, you wake up, you agitate it and aggravate it because maybe you didn't sleep. When here's the thing, when you don't let your problems go, you, you carry them through your sleep and your body never rests or relaxes. And right. that's the time for your body to rejuvenate itself. I know I'm a nerd, your body and your cells rebuild itself while you sleep. So if you, if your body is never sleeping technically, and then you wake up with all that stress and, and headache first thing in the morning, the kids are going to get on your nerves. The husband's going to get on your nerves. The wife's going to get on your nerves. Then you're going to get in traffic. Somebody's going to get on your nerves. And by the time you get to work, you're going to be on 10 thousand and you know that lady i right. know who did it for me the, the gum popping lady that sat beside me so by the time i got to work and she popping that gum i was ready to turn into sophronia sanders and pop her in the mouth right so you've, got to set, you've got to set your morning are you in a swing lynn yeah i had to sit down for a second <laughs> no you got a swing now i, I thought know, nobody would know i love my swings I had to sit down for a second. Now, I'll, I'm, you're going to make me drop my phone out here. And it's no one. Go ahead and do a good, just do a quick swing, Lynn. Oh, Lord. Just Georgia, a quick I tell you what's the truth. You jumping out the swing, talking about do a quick swing. You doing, you, you jumping out the swing. You know Come out, do a quick. Now, don't you feel like a little kid? Uh, kick your legs up in the air. Whee! Oh, MG, you heard girl. Yeah. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you so much. And I know I'm saying your name so wrong. Rosie has tried to help me pronounce because Rosie and Courtney are the ex expert Spanish speaking in my household and I, Courtney and Rosie tell me I'm tearing up your name every second of the of the day. Why is Rosie coming back to the call? Carolina? Yeah, and see I can't roll it all like that. What's wrong? I left note. You left a note. No, you didn't. It's in your bag. Are you sure? Look and see why you <laughs> Y'all these are true confessions and conversations about everyday every day life. If you have and kids, you know the struggle, right? Of taking mm -hmm. them to school and they leave something and forget something. You got to go back home and get it. And this, you this, better this. be glad, Kahane. I'm 45 <laughs> minutes from the house. I would not be good. Rosie, I was telling her that you said I say Carolina's name wrong all the time and you yeah. pick at me. Rosie been trying to teach me, honey. And she said it's hopeless because I got that North Carolina twang. I'm <laughs> never going to be able <laughs> to roll a R. So she done gave up hope on me. But and speaking of which, let me tell you what I never leave home with. It's always in my pocketbook. It's her book. It's Carolina's Radiant Expression. Look, I already done, the little paper done come off the side. It's been all up right here. I done got notes and coupons in it. I, I love this little book. I done, you got it, Rosie? She out of breath. You want a sip of water? I ain't got nothing. Well, don't forget the note. I'm not. Okay, love you. I'm Have a good day. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> she said bye, y'all. <laughs> yeah, Charlene said she had to take a notebook to school the other day, y'all. I get it. I get it. Charlene, let me tell you something. If Rosie forgets something on this here side of town, it's gonna be God. It's gonna be forgot because I'm not dropping back to the house. That's a negative. Uh, all right, guys. So um. You got to be grateful. You got to start your morning peaceful and you got to develop your mantra to help start your morning rituals. If you don't have one, you need to develop one um, because it will help set your day. And when you get in the habit of doing it, then it becomes easier. And then it's like, oh, I missed something like brushing your teeth, washing your face. If you forget to do those things, you'd be like, dog. So um, Lynn, uh, uh, in the beginning of, of our show back in November, if you guys been with us since November of last year, 
she told you about the millionaire mindset, the checklist of, of, of rituals and things to say in the morning. Mine is on my bathroom sink. And like Lynn said, you get you get in the habit of saying it so much. You're like, wait a minute. I say mine when I'm brushing my teeth. Did I even say, you know, I have to go back and read it because some of it you'll learn. But I had to go back and read it. And those things will help set your morning. And more importantly, it will keep the right thoughts in the forefront of your day. Um, yes. Well, Charlene, you got it easy. Thank you, Carolina. You got it easy. I'm 45 <laughs> minutes away from uh, this here school. I told she better appreciate every sacrifice of getting up at five to leave the house at to six get. to be at this school. Please understand. She better be excited <laughs> to come every single day, every day, hey. without fail. Well, Lynn, thank you for getting on the swing with me. I might go get on the swing today. All right, all right. I just had to rest, but yeah, I was trying to do it on the DL, but you called me out all the way. <laughs> you know, out. I'm gonna recognize a swing, <laughs> yeah, I, but I thought you would just keep talking about the your confessionate conversation today. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> But it is, so guys. Yeah, thank cool. you so much for uh, joining the Fearless Morning Show. I don't, I don't have the link with me this morning. So if you want to binge watch all the Fearless Morning Shows, we are on YouTube, so you can binge watch all the shows. They are by title. What are you going to say, Lynn? Yeah, Charlene is an old school. She got that old school parent, and she said, "Honey, they missed the bus. They will walk <laughs> to school." <laughs> yeah, yes, so don't, don't make no babies walk. I know, right? <laughs> In the cold. <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. All right, Lynn, tell them where they can find you one more time. And Kim, I got so caught up yesterday, I was halfway on, on the other side of town before I realized I did not come by Barnes Tire, but I love you dearly. And everybody loved your necklace because I wore the necklace she gave me. It says, I am strong. And I was like, oh, I love that. So I, I told them, yeah, you got to reach out to you to find out where you got it from. So thank you. Lynn, tell them where they can find you. Yes, guys, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Demon Speak too. But if you're ready to get started with that investing, go to bit.ly intro to investing. There are no more excuses for your life and your finances. We helping you get it all the way right. We do thank you for your time and spending it with us because we know time is your most precious commodity. You can't get these minutes back, but you decided to spend it with us and we appreciate you for that. All right, guys, I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yeah, I said it, America's number one. And we have not forgotten that I am riding a roller coaster for y'all because I'm getting over my fear. So I am riding my roller coaster and it will be one step above the baby when I have not forgotten. I, I am going to do that so that we can uh, so that we can do that. So if you guys want to join us, please make sure you sign up on the Fearless. Um, go to the Fearless Morning Show page and like that page. So that way I have everybody's information. I can let you know when we're going to be doing that because here's the end goal. Because when you think about it, Lynn, yes. we always want something in return, right? Absolutely. When you do something, you want something in return. I want to reenact Poison, like in the movie, uh, what is it? Think Like a Man, when the girls go to Vegas <laughs> and they do Poison up on the bar. I want to reenact that for my birthday. And Lynn said the only way that we can do that, she going to come with me, is that I ride the roller coaster and I'm not jumping out of a plane. I got to work my way up to that. I'm going to ride the roller coaster. I'm going to learn how to swim. I'm going to sing and I'm going to dance. Uh -uh, On my uh -uh, birthday. Uh -uh, no. What did I forget? You leaving out zip lining. Oh, zip lining. I'm doing baby zip lining. Please understand, it's going to be the beginner's <laughs> level of that see, zip lining. See, you Please got understand. people out here looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at me like, okay, what's wrong but with you? But y'all listen, y'all can join us. If y'all want to come with me and ride the roller coaster, if y'all want to go zip lining, y'all come on, make sure you like the Fearless Morning Show page and or send me a message so I have your email so that I can keep you guys. Oh, the website is um, bafearless.com so you can go over there and sign up so that I have your information. I can keep you up to date. I'm going to do the roller coaster. I'm going to do the zip lining for sure. I'm doing those two. And um, indoor skydiving at least. Can I get an indoor skydiving at least? Yes, we can do indoor skydiving. That I can do. Okay. That I can. And Carolina, I, I made a video for you and I'm going to send it to you. Messenger this morning. I got in the pool at the hotel on Sunday. 
before the funeral, honey, this before the funeral, because I woke up, you know, you wake up and you're feeling kind of funky. I was like, let me go get in the pool. The pool was so darn cold, I was shaking. I got in there anyway. Honey, I was twisting and twirling, posing, jumping, trying to do a flip. I was out there. Courtney said, you done lost your ever Doing love the most. Life. Doing the most. I Honey, when I tell you I was doing the most, I was doing the most in that water. And it was like, it's time for the funeral. I said, one more time. Let, and I never let go of the edge, honey. I was in the middle of the pool. I was up to the five feet. So I had my, I'm going to send you the video. I had the time of my life. Cousin Carl dancing to Tupac. Oh, Lord. Go ahead, Cousin Carl. Like, I ain't even mad at you, dog. Y'all know I'm MC JoJo, so I will be coming up with my rap song pretty soon since I, that's something I've always wanted to do too. And singing and zip lining is not something I've always wanted to do, but I'm gonna do it. And indoor. Uh so we gotta get we gotta get together, Lynn, so we can schedule that. So we can put it all on the calendar so everybody know. Yeah, so you know I'm open. So why you tripping? Oh, Jesus. Well, I don't I'm know here. why I even stay in it. I'm here. <laughs> Lynn is for all of that. All right, guys, make sure you share the morning show. Please make sure you go to our YouTube channel and um, like the show for your friends and family that do not have Facebook. Share it with them, please. And like the Fearless Morning Show page as well. We need some love over there. Lynn and I post over there, so we need some love over there, uh, even though we broadcast on my page. I appreciate you guys so much. And remember, if you know anybody who's living in crazy and they need a little help or a little push getting past it, send them on over here to the morning show. Um, so that we can help them out. Charlene, I'm trying my best, girl. Honey, I'm trying. And then I had lost some weight in my red bathing suit, too. What? She <laughs> Lord, you got to help her. It, 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 it was all over with. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Lynn did her morning walk. This morning, she getting her she getting her exercise life together. I'm be joining you, Lee, because I I need some help in that area too. But guys, we hope you have a fantabuloso Tuesday, and we see you here bright and early in the morning. Have a good one. Signing off. Yeah, I got a call. <laughs> Listen, bye. <laughs>